So let's start our video. In this video, I'm going to use a JavaScript library called WaveSurfer. So WaveSurfer is an audio editor used for adding audio wave effects to the website. So the official website of WaveSurfer is wavesurferjs.org. So now if I play it, I can just play the button again, the audio stops. Then if we click this mute button, the audio mute and so I'm going to use this JavaScript library. Here I have a folder called assets in that I have some icons and a music. So I'm going to use this music in this video and this is going to be an icon and this icons are going to be our controls. Here I'll open my VS code. and quickly create two new files so the first file is going to be our index.html file which is going to be our html file so i'll quickly create index.html and a style.css file then here i have two files index.html and a style.css file here i put the border plate and link index.html and style.css file then I'll give it a title called wave effect and start my live server too. So if you don't know what is live server, live server is an extension for VS Code which updates your code live. So if you want to install live server, then you can go to extensions tab and search for live server. So I have downloaded live server before itself, so I'm not going to download it once more. Here I'll create a div with class container, which is going to be a container of the wave effect. So I'll create a div with class container, and inside that I'll create another div. So this div is going to be named as music player. Then I will open my style of this file and I will give the body a background color so I am going to give it a light pink color background hashtag f4 e e e4 so this is a light pink color then now the body has a background then next I am going to style the music player a bit the player so before that I'll add an image here you make a SRC or class assets music icon or jpg and I'm going to give it an alt music icon and id music icon then we have an icon image but this is very big so if you want to make it small then you can style it so dot music icon height 150 pixels then width 150 pixels then border radius 50 percent so i'll give it id instead of class because you are giving it gave the id so now there is an icon here in the music player, I will add position absolute top 50%, then left 50%, put the transform translate minus 50%, minus 50%. Then now this music player is in center. I'm going to add a background color, background hashtag FFF. F. So this is the white color 2F6. So this is the white color, light white color. Then width 70%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 
then height height 140 pixels or else 340 so now there is height here you know, height and width then i'm going to add border radius 15 pixels so this has a border then padding 10 pixels 18 pixels so now there is padding here then walk shadow Zero point seven five. So now this has a box shadow, and our music player looks very good. So you can also add black motif and effect here, but I like it to be simple. Then I'm going to add display flex here and align item center, so that all the items come in center. Then here I'm going to add a dev with class info that is in the information in that i am going to add an expert with content fairy tale then a h3 tag with content music source it's a day it's a day so if you want to download this music then you can use it it's a day so yes the font falls to make it look good so i'll open google font or you can open the dank URL which is font.google.com Then I select a font First I paste this text which is very tame Then I select the font Quicksand Quicksand So Quicksand font looks good in pink color background so I'll use at the rate import. You can also use link well that is to be pasted in index.xml file. Then dot container font form font family quicksand. So now the container has the font family quicksand. Then I'm going to style dot import because this doesn't look good on margin left 40 pixels and the size margin left then i'm going to add width 100 percent now the width is 100 percent then dot info h3 margin top 3 pixels margin bottom 10 pixels now this comes in center then next I'm going to add the face of a uh, wave effect. So if you want to add wave effect just like this or better than this, you have to copy the script. So you can use unpkg or cdn tool. If you want cdn link, then I'll provide the link in the description box. So I paste it here in the head tag and I will copy this tool. So you can use any name for the ID. The default name is the form and I create a script tag and I paste this code here. So this is the main code of the base so of Then I'm going to format a little bit. So now we don't get anything because we haven't loaded any form in audio here but as you can see there is some space and if we inspect it we get a deep form and a wave tag so if you want to load a audio file then you can copy this tag and use your custom audio so i'll i kept the audio inside um assets folder so i'll copy it and is this music here so now as you can see we get the audio effect audio wave effect but this doesn't look good because this is the default audio wave effect if you want to customize it a bit more then you can go to documentation options method and you can use this method to customize it so so the first method i'm going to use is 
the part red. So before that, let me you change the wave color and progress color. So now the wave color changes and I'll change the progress color too. Then now the progress color color to change us. Then next I'm going to use bar width function which is going to be a width function bar width and I'll do it too. So bar width use the width of the bar. So if I remove the bar, we don't get any width. We get on it. But if I add the bar width, we get width as you can see here. So let me change the bar width and we get more width. Then the next function is responsive. So responsive has add responsiveness to this other track. Responsive true. So now this other track is responsive. But there is a problem here. If we inspect it and if we do this in different devices, as you can see, we get scroll bar. So if you want to remove the scroll bar, then you can use function hide scroll bar. So this hide scroll bar. So now if we inspect it and if we use this in other devices, we don't get scroll bar. So the next function I'm going to use is bar radius. So bar radius add radius to the bar. So bar radius then T. So now as you can see this has radius here. Yeah. So you can use other functions too such as bar gap. So this is going to be giving the bar gap to the bar. So bar gap 3. Then we get bar gap as you can see here. But I don't like bar gap so I'm not going to be using it. So our customization is finished and now let us add controls. Because if we don't have controls we cannot play this music at all. So for adding controls I'll create a div with class control bar and inside that I load some assets such as state of png so you can get all the images in icons.db.com so I downloaded all the images from here such as this volume image image which I have downloaded so play of png or play id play cpn and I'll do the same thing for other two images so pause.png pause then pause pp or else pause.png stop.png stop and stop pn stop pn the next one so image I'm going to load is volume.png so volume PNG is loaded. So now here we get the icon, but this is not properly aligned. If you want to make it proper, then we have to add some styling to it. So the first styling I'm going to add is control bar, margin top 30 pixels, and dot control bar image more height 20 pixels. So this is going to make it a bit small as you can see here yeah. then margin right 20 pixels or 10 pixels so now this has function right then cursor pointer so if you over it the cursor becomes pointer as you can see here yeah. then next I'm going to add title to it title play Slash pause. So what this title does, if you over it, we get a toolkit with play slash pause. And this stop. And this 
mute unmute unmute so now we get tooltip for every button so the next thing i'm going to do is open user form and i'm going to use method dog so method dog helps us to control the scroll bar or progress bar so the first method i'm going to use is play pause so play pause helps us to play or pause the button so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to use play btn so before that we have to create variables so play btn is equal to document dot get element by id play btn then let us do the same thing for other two elements too stop btn the next volume btn so i'm going to add play btn dot on click dot function so dot function mc and wave circle dot play pause so i copy this play pause and paste it here then on click is equal to function or dot function so then if we play this audio it is played and if we click this again it stops then let us do the same thing for other two elements so stop btn dot on click volume btn dot on click so for stop btn i'm going to use stop function stop function stop on click stop then next move toggle move So toggle move helps us to move and undo. So now if we play this, and if we stop it, the audio stops playing. But then it moves and it unmutes. So the main problem in this is if it is the button is there. So if you want to stop it, we have to use if statement. If play VPN dot src dot match dot match play. So what this function does is it it will match the src that we are source. So we are searching for play button in our src. As we kept our name as p dot png, so we are searching for p dot png. If you kept the name something else, then you can change the name to that image so play button dot src is equal to asset post.png post.png so now if you click the button but if you click this again it doesn't change just to play.png if you want to change it then you have to use else statement else Play VPN dot SRC is equal to assets play dot PNG. So now if you click this button, then it changes to play. Then let us do the same thing for mute and unmute button. So here I'm going to search for volume. So volume and this here, then mute dot png. So now if you click button, it changes to mute, but we have to change 
this to volume no, volume button now if you click this you can just to mute and if you click this again you can just to volume and this is two so now we have completed our audio effect using waves of form so if you click this button then it stops and if you click the stop button it goes to start it then if you click the stop button it mutes and if you click the mute button You can add the effect into your website using the software. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, then hit the fan and don't forget to subscribe for the things you can do. Have the next video. Until then, bye bye.